the amygdala. It's my favorite part of the brain. The amygdala is the region of the brain primarily associated with emotional processes. The name of the amygdala is derived from the Greek word amygdala, meaning almond, owing to the structure's almond-like shape. The amygdala is located in the medial temporal lobe, just anterior to in front of the hippocampus. Similar to the hippocampus, the amygdala is a paired structure with one located in each hemisphere of the brain. The amygdala is part of the limbic system, a neural network that mediates many aspects of emotion and memory. Although historically the amygdala was considered to be involved primarily in fear and other emotions relative to aversive unpleasant stimuli, it is known to be involved in positive emotions elicited by appetitive stimuli. The amygdala comprises of a group of nuclei or clusters of neurons, the basal lateral complex, the largest of the clusters and located roughly in the lateral and middle parts of the amygdala, includes the lateral basal accessory basal nuclei. The cortical and medial nuclei of the amygdala form the so-called cortico-medial group. Most prominently, the amygdala receives dense input from the prefrontal cortex, especially from the anterior cingulate. The amygdala plays a prominent role in mediating many aspects of emotional learning Behave, learning and behavior. There exists a vast array of human emotions ranging from joy to sadness, to excitement, and regret to satisfaction. Put that in there for you, doctor. Hopefully you like the Sensman uh, treat. Most emotions possess a valence, positive or negative, and an intensity low to high that reflects emotional arousal. Stur studies of the neural basis of emotion in animal models, including those focusing on the amygdala, typically have utilized physiological or behavioral measures that likely reflect valence and intensity of an emotional experience. Emotional learning has been studied in both animal and mock animal models and humans. Using Pavlovian conditioning in which an otherwise neutrally conditioned stimulus is paired with an innately aversive unconditioned stimulus, this type of paradigm often referred to as fear conditioning can result in robust learning owing to convergence of sensory information about the conditioned stimulus and the unconditioned stimulus. Furthermore, the activation of Neurons in the basal lateral amygdala can induce learning, suggesting that those neurons play a causal role in emotional learning. After learning input from the basal lateral complex to the central nucleus of the amygdala leads to the orchestration of a range of physiological and behavioral responses that are correlated with emotional states. Measures of fear conditioning include the cessation of movement, freezing, a defensive behavior, and increased skin conductance responses, or increased blood pressure. Lesions of the amygdala impair the acquisition and expression of this learning. There is also substantial evidence that the amygdala is also involved in the process of awarding stimuli in, the, in another treat for you, doctor, from the Simpsons. Within the amygdala, amygdala neural responses to the conditioned stimuli can change during appetitive learning, and many amygdala neurons respond to different rewarding stimuli. The activation of the amygdala neurons that respond to rewarding stimulus can induce both Pavlovian and instrumental learning. A pathway from the amygdala to the ventral striatum, which has been implicated in reward processing and addiction, mediates learned approach behaviors. Emotional regulation responses to sens sensory stimuli not only arise through innate mechanisms and through learning, but also can be altered by extinction 
and cognitive control mechanisms. Both extinction and cognitive control involve interaction between the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala. Emotions influence cognitive processes such as attention, memory formation, and decision making, and they play a prominent role in social behavior. A large body of literature supports a role for the amygdala in those functions. Consistent with that observation, amygdala neural activity can reflect the emotional significance of location of visual stimuli. Substantial work implicates a role of the basal lateral amygdala in modulating the formation of memories in relation to emotional events. Now, the amygdala is not perfect. It does work in some dysfunction. The anatomical interconnections between the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex, which likely are critical for normal ad adaptive emotional behavior, do not fully develop early until early adulthood. Many neuropsychiatric disorders emerge during or before that time. Work in animals and studies of clinical populations suggest a role for amygdalar dysfunction and anxiety disorders, addiction, and complex neuropsychiatric disorders such as autism, where clinical features include social, cognitive, and affective components. Well, this has been my presentation on the amygdala, and I hope you enjoyed it.